All right, coming down onto your mat. Great. I just want you to notice your bottom. Let it drop into the ground. Make sure that the arch in the back isn't excessive. It's nice and natural. And we're going to make sure the feet are not too close to the bum. So if they're up here, step them away. And make sure your knees, your hips, and your third toes track into straight lines. We're going to set our neutral pelvis by placing the thumbs in the belly button and the first two fingers of both hands on the pubic bone. So this diamond that you've just popped on your hips acts just like a spirit level. Curl up from the ribs, look at that diamond, and make little adjustments until your thumb and your fingers are both the same distance from the ground. Then you can rest your head back down. And while your thumb and fingers are still there, don't let your pelvis move. I want you to feel the front of your ribs dish down towards your hips. Cool? All right. So now we've set neutral pelvis and we've also set rib to hip connection. We're going to start practicing switching on our T-zone. To do that, we lift the pelvic floor up the vertical line. We dish the hip bones across the horizontal line. Both of those things happen on an exhale through the mouth. Take a breath in through the nose to start. And as you exhale through the mouth, pelvic floor lifts, dish across the hips. Hold it for a breath in. And slowly release as you breathe out. Again, inhale, just relax. Exhale, slowly contract. Hold for a breath in. Slowly release as you breathe out. Now we're going to take our fingers onto our hip crests. Really dig those fingertips down into the space on the inside of the hips. And we're going to notice resistance as we activate that T-bone. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, activate. Notice those muscles rising into the fingers. Hold that for a breath in. And slowly relax as you breathe out. Grab one more. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, really smooth on that contraction, really gradual. And hold it for the breath in. And as gradual and smooth as you can as you breathe out. All right, release the hands by the side. Next up, we've got iliacus prep, and that's to help us use the muscles on the inside of the groin, deep core, rather than our hip flexors. We're going to just gently squeeze the T-zone as we breathe in, and we're going to pretend we're trying to lift our right foot off the floor, but it won't go anywhere as we breathe out. Hold that for another inhale, and relax as you exhale. Remember the pelvic floor as we breathe in, and start to struggle to lift that left foot as you breathe out, keeping everything else still. Keep working as you inhale, and then exhale, relax. We're going to try that on both sides. So I want you to feel like your feet are glued to the ground, and you're really working to lift them. Careful not to arch your back or overstrain. So teeth are tight, we breathe in. Working to attempt to lift the feet that are glued to the ground as we breathe out. Can you really feel those muscles on the insides of the thighs switching on? It's like your hips are sucking the thighs in more firmly. Hold for another inhale and relax as you exhale. So that's our iliacus prep. This needs to be the start, the very first thing that happens before we lift the feet off the floor. So let's see if we can do that. T-zone tight, iliacus on as we inhale. Right leg lifts up to tabletop as we exhale. Good. Inhale the right foot back down to the ground. Exhale, switch to the left. And as we initiate this movement each time, I want you to get first that sense of iliacus switching on. Someone's phoning me. Too bad. Inhale it back down. Exhale to switch. Inhale the foot to the floor. Use the inside. Feel the thigh being sucked in by the hip as we lift the leg. Great. Let's make this a little bit more complex. Let's turn it into lift and extend. Bring the leg up as you inhale. Extend it out and low to the floor as you exhale. Bring it back as you breathe in. Pop it down as you breathe out. So we always inhale through the nose. Exhale. Rip to hip connection. Use the pelvic floor to lift. Exhale, pop it down. Good. Keep going. I want you to think about the shoulders down flat on the floor, keeping that chin tucked in, back of the neck nice and long. 
Last one here. Pop that left foot back down on the ground. Bring the arms up for arm prep. Your palms face each other. The shoulders drop into the ground. We're going to keep everything on the whole body still as we inhale the T-bone tight and exhale the arms back till the thumbs touch the floor. Slowly bring them up as you inhale. And as you extend on your exhale, dish the ribs more firmly towards the hips. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, ribs to hip connection. Inhale it up. Exhale away. Great. Give me two more of these. Looking good, guys. Yep. Last one. Exhale away. Inhale it up. We're going to bring the fingertips to the base of the skull for our abdominal curl series. Starting with rectus abdominal crunches. Elbows spread wide. T's are in tight. We inhale. Curl the ribs to the hips. Keep the belly flat as you exhale. Inhale it down. And as you exhale, curl up. Make sure your chin drops in and that we look at the thighs. We want to make sure we're not letting the chin poke out as we rise on the exhale and lower on the inhale. If you'd like to make this more challenging, extend to the fingertips as you curl up. Replace the hand as you roll down. Try and get all the way to the tips of the shoulder blades as you curl on your exhale, controlling back to the ground with your inhale. Feel that belly really suck down as you exhale, curl up. And if you want to go for the hardest level, keep the hands reaching forward as we inhale and roll down. Exhale, curl the ribs to hips as you look up your thighs. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, curl up. Oh, keep working. I just realized there's a setting that I didn't change. You're probably really struggling to hear me and the music. That should fix it. You guys look really good. Go for two more. Make sure your shoulders are reaching away from your ears. Last one. Take the hands to the base of the skull. Inhale the head down onto the ground. Obliques crunch. T's are in tight. We inhale. Right rib over to left hip as we exhale. Inhale it back down. Exhale left rib to right hip. Good. Now make sure those legs stay still and parallel. Inhale it down. Exhale switch. Good. Now, once you know you can keep your hips and your legs still, your belly flat, make sure you extend the arm to the opposite side to make it more challenging now. Try and get all the way to the tips of those shoulder blades. We're rotating through the ribs, through the upper part of the body. And the arm comes across like an arrow. Really stretching as the shoulder comes down. Last two. Last one. Inhale the head to the floor, exhale the arms to the sides. We're going to do our single toe tap in our bicycle legs now. But first we need to come into our tabletop position. So we're going to inhale the right leg up, exhale the left leg follows. Feel the rib to hip connection and the space in the low back will decrease. Just be careful you're not lifting your bottom off the floor here. You still need to keep pushing the tailbone down, keeping the knees right on top of the hips. We're going to take that right tiptoe to the ground. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, flatten the belly as the toe touches the floor. Feel that iliacus, bring it up as you inhale, then switch to the left tiptoe as you exhale. Nice. Inhale it up and exhale to switch. Feel the rib to hip connection, belly nice and flat. If this is too hard and you feel like your back is arching or your belly's popping up, tap the toe a little closer to your bottom. And if you'd really like to challenge it, you can extend further through the front of the hip. But remember that it's your iliacus that has to work hard to bring the leg back to the start position. Chin tucked in, shoulders pressing down into the ground. Last one on the left. Bring those legs back up to tabletop position. T-zone tight, tummy flat. We're going to extend the right leg as we exhale. Bring it back to your start position as we inhale. Now I have been doing these for a long time, so I go quite low. But if you're new to Pilates or this is quite challenging so far, just extend the leg to 45. You don't need to aim it to the floor. Just look to turn your leg into an arrow, squeezing the thigh and reaching through the back of the knee, keeping those shoulders down flat. And then once you get comfortable with that, you can add the challenge, which is lowering the leg down without letting the belly pop up. 
We've got one more and we're not resting yet. Bring it back to your tabletop position. Squeeze the knees and the ankles together. Take the fingertips to the base of the skull. Inhale the T-zone tight. We're going to take four crunches. Four crunches to the center. Then we're going to take four obliques twists. Keep those hips still. Last one here. Go for four to the sides. Use the breath. Good. Keep the elbows wide. Now, as you take your next four crunches to the center, maybe you want to make it harder, extending through the fingertips. Inhaling back. Exhale, extend. Or you can keep the hands at the base of the skull. That's fine. Don't quit yet. We only have three rounds until our rest break. And we're halfway through. Take the arm across as you exhale. Bring it back as you inhale. Arm across on the exhale, back on the inhale. Two more. And then we come into our final round. So maybe, maybe you can exhale, extend the arms and keep them there for level three. Curling up as you exhale, rolling down as you inhale. Bring the hands back. We've got four twists. Now draw the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. You can go for three circles in one direction and take three circles in the other direction. You have done it. That is it for the first part of our warm-up. So just give your legs a little shake, release your tummy, and we'll reset the posture before we start on the next exercises. So we're going to come into our single leg stretch now. The idea is to stay sitting up the whole time. So bring the legs up to tabletop position, feel the iliacus pull them down. T-zone tight, we inhale. Curl up and grab your right knee, extend the left leg and drop the shoulders as you exhale. Good, inhale to switch, exhale to squeeze the left knee. So really curl the ribs to the hips to take the crown to the ceiling. Use the breath. Doing really well guys, squeeze the knee on the exhale, switch on the inhale and extend. Now once you're holding your left knee, I want you to bring the right knee to tabletop, bring the left knee to tabletop, don't let your head drop. Bring the fingers to the base of the skull, spread the elbows wide, inhale to T-zone, pushing the tailbone down, exhale to extend the right leg. So this is a harder version of our bicycle leg. We're staying in our abdominal curl and your rectus abdominal should be burning. Miss Chantel Peel, get your legs in the air. Come on, exhale, extend, sitting up nice and tall, curl the ribs to the hips, you can do it. Top of the head to the ceiling, you just four more to go. Four, beautiful, Sharon, looking really good, Ebs. Three, good, give me the last two, also looking amazing, Sarah. Two, and last one on the left side, hug the knees, give them a squeeze. I'm mean today, hey, this is when I want to get through abs quickly. I'm just like, let's power through. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do our Pilates 100s preparation. And I finally feel like I'm ready to take off my sweater. That's a nice thing. It's freezing this morning. What happened to those, like, abnormally warm winter days? <laughs> Okie dokie. Pilates 100s prep. We're going to squeeze the knees and the ankles together, keeping our legs in tabletop position. When we exhale, the legs extend fully. When we inhale, they bend, but they don't drop towards our bottom. We've got to stop before we get below the knee. The arms start in arm prep. That's always our start position and our end position. We're going to exhale, curl up, sweep the hands to the hips. Yes, we can. We inhale, roll the head back down, fingertips point to the ceiling. Exhale, circle the arms around and curl up, belly dishing down flat. Inhale, the head down and the hands point to the ceiling. Let's add the legs. Circle, curl up and extend. Inhale, roll down, the knees bend, real careful. Curl it up on your exhale. Roll it down on your inhale. Keep working with that. See if you can really hug those arms in tight at the top and keep them in line with your shoulders as you come back to arm prep. Now, as you extend those legs, be careful that you're not lifting your bottom up. You want to keep pushing the bottom down as you hollow the belly. Keep going. I'm going to check on you. Oh, perfect, Sarah. Nice. Really good. Great, Sharon. You're doing a great job pushing your bum down today. 
Perfect abs, perfect reach. Yes, tells. Give me two more like that. Remember your legs. Last one. Hug the knees, have a rest. Great. Relax, relax, relax. You can rock your spine from side to side. Do some circling. Let everything release. So Pilates 100. So remember, we're trying to train our core. We're not trying to strain our neck. So if at any point your neck is straining, use one or both hands to assist you and support you. There's three different leg positions. Tabletop, fully extended, or flexed, externally rotated, and lowered. I'll give you the choice to upgrade throughout. You can always come back, but please don't put your feet on the floor. This is our like hardest, most awesome part of our Pilates abs sequence, right? So don't quit. Let's do it. What's a Pilates 100s? Well, we inhale for five pulses of the arms and exhale for five pulses of the arms without letting anything else move and holding a challenging shape. Challenging is the key word here, right? Start in your tabletop position. Find your imprinted spine. T's are tight as we inhale, hands on the sides of the thighs. Curl up as you exhale and reach as far as you can through the fingertips. Now breathe in, T's are tighter for five. Curl up higher for five. Nice, option to take those toes up to the ceiling, pushing the hips down as you inhale for five pulses and then exhale for five pulses. Need more of a challenge, great, let's go. Flex those feet, turn them out, heels and knees still connected. Get down low and go, go, go. Inhaling for five, exhaling for five. Now I want you to feel your waist wrapping in towards the center of your tummy. Your belly hollowing down, you crown your head reaching up to the ceiling, the shoulders rolling down and back. Is your pelvic floor still lifting? Are those hip bones still dishing? Keep breathing, keep... Sarah, get back in the game. No feet on the floor. Keep breathing, keep squeezing, keep pulsing. You have just another 20 seconds here. You're doing an absolutely fantastic job of not letting anything else move while you pulse those arms. Remember, if your neck is straining, take one hand, support the head. Sarah, try to keep your feet up and just relax the head. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, last up. I mean, finished. <laughs> I am getting absolute death evils from Chantel. <laughs> so reach your arms and legs out now and have a really good stretch. We're gonna do Nutcracker 1 and Nutcracker 2. They will progress pretty seamlessly together. So this one is turning the knees out as we curl up. The hands go from the base of the skull through the legs. We then inhale and we pulse three times. But those crunches happen with the legs staying still in our nutcracker, right? It's just the rib to hip that pulses three times. The legs don't actually move. So let's do five rounds of our nutcracker one. Fingertips at the base of the skull. Imprinted spine, tabletop position, T-zone tight, we inhale. Turn the knees out, curl up as we exhale. Extend the arms, breathe in, pulse one, two, three. Inhale it down, knees together. Exhale, curl up and reach through. Inhale, roll the shoulders down, then bring it back. Curl it up. Inhale, shoulders roll back. Exhale, pulse, pulse. Pulse, we've got two more rounds, guys. Exhale, knees apart. Inhale, shoulders down. Exhale, pulse, pulse, pulse. Give me one more just like that. Let me watch you. Curl it up on your exhale. Hold it on your inhale. And then pulse, pulse, pulse. Good, bring it back down to the ground. So we're gonna add on. If this is challenging enough for you, feel free to stay with this level. The addition is to extend the legs fully as we curl up. So it looks like this. I exhale. So we have to breathe in, right? So there is an inhale there, and your thumbs can connect if you want to as you reach through. Yeah? So there's an inhale before you pulse, and that's just to get everything in the right position. Taking the fingertips to the base of the skull to start. T zone tight, we breathe in. Open the knees, curl up, and extend the legs as you breathe out. Inhale, prepare, then pulse, pulse, pulse. Let's do three pulses again. Exhale, curl up, extend. Inhale, prepare, pulse, pulse, pulse. We're gonna do four pulses now, two times through. Exhale, curl up, take a breath in. Bring it down. Go again, four pulses. Inhale, 
Inhale to prepare. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, look down. This time we're doing five. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, prepare. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, look down. Exhale it up. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Job done. We're going to take the left leg out, right leg over to the left. You can use your left hand to give you more of a twist on your right knee. Should feel amazing. Come back to the start position, extend that right leg away, left leg comes up, and we twist to the other side. If this is too strong, you can always just pick your bottom up and shift it to the left. That will take out some of the strain and the twist. Coming back to our start position, bringing your oh, legs out nice and straight. We're just going to do a quick round of um, of a uh, roll up, roll down, pelvic curl series, sorry. But we can start with the band on. Just around the thighs, just above the knees. This should also really help your glute prep switch on super strong. Great work. All right, now with the legs extended, we're gonna start with glute prep. So we know we inhale the T-zone tight. Exhale, squeeze your glutes so much that your hamstrings lift off the floor. Inhale, hold it, and exhale, slowly soften down. Again, T-zone on the inhale. Bum squeeze on the exhale. Hold it for a breath in, and soften with the breath out. Again, T-zone on the breath in. Glutes on the breath out. Hold for the inhale, soften with the exhale. All right, let's step those feet in now so they're close to the bottom. T-zone tight as we breathe in. Tuck the tailbone under and one vertebrae at a time, peel away from the ground. I want you to feel every vertebrae lifting in sequence. At the top, we're gonna to be straight through the ribs and the hips to the knees. Keep pushing the shoulders into the floor, chin tucked in, neck nice and long. T-zone, tighten on the breath in, and then scoop the ribs in, tuck that tailbone under, and vertebrae by vertebrae, come back down to the floor. Nice, roll through on the inhale, and then tuck under and peel away on the exhale. Really keep that rib to hip connection, squeeze your underbutt, hold at the top, breathe in, and then slowly come down as you breathe out. Roll through on the inhale and peel away on the exhale. At the top, take a breath in and slowly come down as you breathe out. Good. At the top of the next one, we're going to start working on our calf muscles. So exhale as we peel away all to the top. Inhale as you push down through the left foot. Exhale as the right heel lifts. Inhale the right heel down. Exhale as the left heel lifts. Now what we don't want is your hips to move. We want them to stay nice and still. Let's try one more on the right. Inhale it down. Another on the left. Inhale it down. We're going to lift both heels. Exhale, both heels rise. Bum stays high. Inhale, both heels down. Exhale, both heels high. Squeeze under your butt. Inhale, both heels down. We've got two more. Exhale to rise. Inhale to lower. Exhale to rise, inhale to lower, then vertebrae by vertebrae, exhale it down onto the ground. Whichever arm is closest to me, oh, firstly, line yourself up with the back edge of the mat. So line yourself up with the back edge of the mat and sneak your feet further away from your bum. We want to create a longer line here. Bring all of your weight just onto the bottom hip, bring the top arm next to your ear, and then keeping your feet and your knees connected, Roll forward. And this puts you into a perfect clam one position. Just make sure this hand comes to rest inside your, on, on the floor. So that's the beginner version. Top hand rests here. Intermediate, bring your hand onto your hip. And we're gonna scoop the side waist up away from the ground. Cool, so we need both sides of our waist to stay the same shape. And to do that, we lift the bottom side away from the floor. Stick your bottom out a little bit, and then roll the top hip forward. Teaser and tight, we inhale, squeeze into your beauty bath as you exhale. Doesn't that feel delicious? Lower down, breathe in. And lift as you breathe out. Lower on the inhale. 
Lift on the exhale. Now be really conscious that this hip isn't moving back, which is why we rolled it forward. Cool. Keep the shoulder rolling back and the hip rolling forward. They are completely separate and opposite jobs. Inhale, close. Exhale, lift. All right, let's change it into clam two. We bring the heels up and they should be pretty much in line with your hips. One straight line through the back body. Lifting the side of the waist, T-zone tightly. Inhale, push that knee into the band as you exhale. Inhale it down. I know it looks like I'm barely moving today and that's because I use a really strong pretty band. <laughs> exhale it up. Inhale it down. We've got three more. Then we're going to do our clam kick out. And when we work banded, we actually extend the leg forward, not back. A little change there. So we're going to switch the breathing. Exhale here. Inhale the knee up. Exhale the leg forward. Inhale, close the feet. Exhale the knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale back. Exhale down. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, close. Exhale, down. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, close. Exhale, down. All right, bring those feet onto the floor, guys. We're going to bring our forearm under our elbow. Uh, that made a lot of sense. We're going to bring our elbow under our shoulder. And you can either have the hand on the floor in front of you, or you can have your hand on your hip. Make sure there's a straight line from your tailbone through to the top of the head, and the front ribs are curling down towards the hips. Teeth are tight, we breathe in. Lift your hips as you breathe out. Roll the shoulder back. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Now you've got the feel for that, you would have to bring your arm further forward. See if you can do it with your hand on your hip. So inhale, T-zone tight, rib to hip connection. Exhale, the hips rise. Inhale, the hips lower. Exhale, the hips rise. Inhale, the hips lower. Give me two more of these. Beautiful. We're now going to turn it onto our knees. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Do you remember which leg was on top? It's the one that's closest to your screen. I remember it for you. <laughs> We're going to lift the leg to the side. So hands are under the shoulders. You've got a gentle bend in the elbow, and we're wrapping the upper arms into the sides of the ribs. Lift the belly into the low back, long spine, inhale, and then lifting that knee to the side as we exhale. Bring it back down on the in-breath, lift to the side on the out-breath. Inhale it down, exhale it up. Inhale it down, exhale it up. Keep going, working with that booty band as we take the knee to the side. Good. Really good. And make sure the same the sides of the waist are staying the same length and that the pelvis never rocks. You're doing a really beautiful job, guys. I know it's tough with the band. Give me two more. And then we're going to take it up and pulse it for 10. Hold. Take a breath in. Pulse for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Inhale it down. Hold here for me. This gets a little complex now. So tucking the toes under, shift your hips back towards your heels. Make sure your knees aren't touching. We need to keep them separated. As the heels come down, we drop the head, no, yes. Then we shake it, no. Then roll up, stacking the spine, one vertebrae at a time. So now that we're standing, which is great, we're at the wrong end of the mat, which is not great. So we're gonna walk to the other end of the mat for this next exercise. So the end where your head was is where you wanna be. Great. So this is our Pilates square. It's a version of a squat, essentially. Often when we start learning this exercise, you'll try and send your knees forward. This is not the objective. The objective is to send the bottom back, cool? So we're going to send the bottom back as we inhale. We're going to step your, this is my right leg that's supporting me, and the left leg is going to the side as I exhale. And can you see that my knees are still as wide as my ankles, and I stay down low? Uh-huh. Great. From here, we're going to squeeze under the bum to stand up. Don't overthrust. We just want to stand into neutral, and then bring the feet back so the knees are parallel. Amazing. Inhale the tailbone back. 
Exhale, step out as wide as you can. Inhale to stand up. And exhale, step the feet together. Inhale, sit the bum back. Exhale, step it out. Inhale it up. And exhale together. We're going to do one more slow with four breaths. So we inhale the bum back, really lifting the T-zone. Exhale, stay the same height as you step open. Good work, guys. Inhale, keep the knees pressing out as we squeeze under the bum. And then exhale, step the feet together. You get a second of rest. I want you to watch me on this next exercise because the breath changes. You want to inhale to start and sit down. I'm going to exhale to step out and stand. I inhale, step back and come down. I exhale to step out and stand. Cool? So inhale to prepare and sit. Exhale, step out and squeeze to stand. Inhale, feet parallel, hips down. Exhale, step out, squeeze up. Inhale, feet back, hips down. Exhale, out and up. We've got three more. Keep pushing out through those knees. And make sure you're not arching your back. Done. All right, good stuff. So now we get to do something which is my favorite thing um, that we never get to do in Pilates. And we are at the correct end of the mat for this. This is the roll down. So drop the chin to the chest, bring the hands onto the front of the thighs and soften your knees. Slowly curl forward until your hands are on your ankles. Great. Now I want you to bend your knees a lot. Keep the spine round and release the back of the neck. Amazing. Just hold here, nod the head yes. Shake the head no. And we're going to continue all the way out onto hands and knees. And again, we're going to line our body up with the back edge of the mat. I'm just going to tip my camera down again for us to do all of this on the other side. So we line our body up with the back edge of the mat. Make sure our feet aren't too close to our bottom. Bottom arm is your pillow. Stick your tailbone back, roll the top hip forward, lift the side waist and roll the top shoulder back. Option one, here. Option two, here. T-zone tightly, inhale, plan one, round two. Knee opens as we exhale. Close it down on the in-breath, open on the out-breath. We want to keep the hip bone really still so it doesn't move backwards. It's just the muscles inside on the top side of the hip that are squeezing to lift the knee. You're doing a really great job. Inhale the knee down, exhale the heels up. Keep the side waist lifted, spine straight on the breath in, lifting that top knee on the breath out. So clam two now. Three to go. Keep the top shoulder away from your ear, neck long, chin tucked in. Last one. All right, now clam kick out. Exhale, hollow the belly. Inhale, teeth on tight, lift the knee. Exhale, extend the leg forward. Inhale, the feet together. Exhale, the knee closes. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, return. Exhale, replace. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale it back, exhale knee down, keep going. Keeping the pelvic floor lifted, the belly hollow. Give me one more just like that. Inhale open, exhale extend, inhale return, exhale replace. Feet come down. Now you're gonna have your hand, your elbow under your um, under your shoulder, I just need a block. Here's an elbow I borrowed. Okay, so you can start with your hand on the floor. T-zone tight, hollow belly, you breathe in. Scoop the hips up as you breathe out. Lower on the inhale, scoop up on the exhale. Cool, now if you can manage it with the hand on the ground, take the hand on the hip. You lift on the exhale, I need to turn this a little bit higher. Lower on the inhale. I need to hold it in position. Good. Three more. Feel your obliques working. 
Last two. Bring it up. Bring the hand forward. Come onto hands and knees. So, it's going to be the leg closest to me that's working. I want you to set a gap between the knees to start. Lift the pelvic floor. Lift the belly into the back. Wrap the arms into the ribs. T-zone tight, breathe in, lift that knee to the side as you breathe out. It's the one that's closest to the camera again, the other leg. Up on the exhale, down on the inhale. Keep going, keep pushing into the booty band. Yes, nice. Doing a really good job. Try not to let your body move at all. Try not to let your back arch. Keep lifting the low belly into the low back. Last one, up and pulse, hold, take a breath in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take it down, tuck the toes, hands to the knees, heels press down, chin to the chest, slowly rolling up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae we stack, and then we do our little waddle to the other end of the mat. <laughs> The booty band waddle. <laughs> All right, here we go. Side two. So we start with the feet parallel. I don't need you on my mat anymore, Mr. Block. So feet are parallel. Knees rotate outwards. Still pressing down evenly through the feet. T-zone tight, we inhale and sit down. We're gonna exhale it out. Inhale to slowly stand, exhale back to the start position. Knees stay still, hips reach back on the breath in. Step it open on the breath out. Come up slow on the inhale, keep the knees rotating out and step together on the exhale. I think we're ready to speed it up now. So inhale, T-zone tight, sit. Exhale, step out, stand. Inhale, feet back, hips down. Exhale, step open and rise. Good, inhale. We got two more. Looking good, guys. Make sure your knees are wider than your ankles. I can see some people are stepping their knees wide, uh, feet wider than their knees can follow. And done. All right, we're coming back down onto the ground. Tucking the chin to the chest, sliding the hands down the front of the thighs. Dropping the head forward, really allowing the curl to follow from the head through the neck, through the shoulders, through the ribs. Tipping the weight forward, forward, forward this time. And then we can start to bend the knees. Walk the hands forward. And you're going to come to lie all the way on your tummies. I, uh, and you can take the... Ooh, no, wait. Yeah, let's keep the good work going. We're going to keep the band on today. Keep the band on. I'm going to turn around. So there's no point me doing postural work on that side. We can't see anything. There's no one. <laughs> All right, coming down. We're going to start in our hardest level for postural setting, the trapezius setting, which is with the arms forward. With the band on, it's important that you just shift your hips apart and tuck the tailbone under. Sometimes it can be difficult to lie comfortably on the tops of the thighs. So try to lie more on the inner thighs than the outer thighs. And that will help you lengthen through the low back. So the arms are extended. Shoulders are going to squeeze back. If you can, I would love it if you could tuck your chin in and rest your forehead on the ground. If that's really challenging for you, you're welcome to roll up the edge of the mat. Or you're welcome to pop a block or a cushion under your forehead. Teeth are tight, lift the belly button off the floor as you breathe in. Slide the shoulders down the back in a V shape as you breathe out. And I want you to feel them knit to the center. Inhale, relax them out. Exhale, just use the muscles in the center of the back to pull the shoulder blades back. Inhale, relax them forward. Exhale, squeeze them in and back. 
Release on the breath in, squeeze on the breath out. Make sure they're rotating backwards. Don't let them roll in. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze down and back. Give me three more like that. We're going to hold the shoulders in and back on this last one. Exhale in and back. Inhale, lift the head. Keep the gaze down. And exhale, roll the forehead back to the ground. Keep squeezing those shoulders together. Keep squeezing your bottom now, pushing the pubic bone through the floor, chin tucked in, gaze at the ground. Inhale the head slowly back down. Can we slide the hands back and rise a little higher as we inhale? And slide the hands forward, rolling down as we exhale. Squeezing in and back as we lift up, breathing in, and then sliding forward, forward to ground, breathing out. Really important that we keep our chin tucked in here. We don't want to let it jump forward, and that's why we look down at our mat the whole time. Two more. Try not to let your low back arch. Keep tucking the tailbone under, pushing the pubic bone into the floor. Good. Now, once you're up, we're going to push the elbows into the floor, bring the hands forward, and the hands become our pillow. Just to rest your upper back, we're going to curl the ribs into the back and lift the ribs up off the ground, pushing the elbows down for three, two, one. Release. We're going to do freestyle legs now. And doing freestyle legs with the band, your feet will feel like they're not going anywhere, okay? And that's totally fine. But they will move a little bit. And they will engage so much more than they usually do. Chuck the tailbone under, push the pubic bone through the ground, spread the shoulder blades wide. Tease on tight, we inhale, point your right tippy toe, keep the legs straight as you lift and squeeze on your exhale. Bring the right foot back down to the ground as you inhale. Bring the left foot up as you exhale. Inhale it down. Exhale, switch. Inhale it down. Exhale, switch. Now inhale, pause for a second. We're going to start doing it a bit faster. You're going to inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Yeah, so nothing is allowed to move though than your legs. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three. Make sure your toes connect to the ground each time. Breathing in for five flutters of the legs. Breathing out for five flutters of the legs. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, rest. All right, give your bum a little shake. A little booty wiggle here. We're going to bring the arms back out and we're going to leave the forehead on the ground to start. Now, this movement has to start with a sliding back of the shoulder before the arm lifts today. Sometimes we reach forward, just spiral it. Spiral and lift the arm on the exhale, bring it back down on the inhale. Switch sides on the exhale, bring it back down on the inhale. Up on the exhale, down on the inhale. Three, two, one. All right, inhale the T-bone tight. Exhale, slide the shoulders into the center of the back. Inhale the face up off the ground. Then exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep knitting the shoulders into the center of the back, but reach long through the armpit. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Gazing down at the ground, lifting the chest high. Good. All right, pause. Inhale, T-zone tight. Tuck the tailbone under. Right arm, left leg. Exhale. Inhale it down. Left arm, right leg. Exhale. Inhale it down. Still squeezing into the center of the back, right? Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Still looking at the floor. Exhale, lift. Are you ready? T-zone tight. Breathe in. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Diagonal line. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four. Tuck your chin in, keep your gaze down, keep going, two, three, four, five, tapping your toe on the ground each time. Make sure your feet are contacting the earth to increase your range. You're here for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the hands underneath the forehead, curl the ribs into the upper back. And then take the hands under your shoulders, lift your chest first. 
push down through the arms, take the bottom to the heels. Okay, so we are going to do this exercise one more time. This is going to work for you, but not for me. Just the arm section. You're going to place your booty band around your arm, just below the elbow, around your arms. I mean, this doesn't work for me for obvious reasons. <laughs> so lying back down on your tongue. Forward touch to the ground, tailbone tucked. It's really important now that you find the inner thighs on the floor and really push the tailbone down. The legs are gonna stay still. Squeeze the shoulders back and down as you exhale. Lift the head up off the ground as you inhale. Exhale the right arm up, inhale it down. Exhale the left arm up, inhale it down. So pushing out into the band. Exhale one arm up, inhale it down. Exhale the other arm up, inhale it down. Keep going. I need to see that this is working for you. Oh, I can't see anyone's arms. <laughs> I can see Sharon's arms. Excellent. <laughs> Good. Exhaling up. Nice. Inhaling down. Keep your bottom still. Keep the low belly lifted into the back. You're ready to speed it up. Lifting the head a little higher. T-zone tighter as we breathe in. Let's go. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Try to press the tops of your ankles down through the ground as you work, not just the toes. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And we're done in five, four, three, two, one. You can take the band off your arms. In fact, we're not gonna work with the band at all anymore. It's done. We are gonna do a little plank drill before our stretch. Planking is important. Isometric holds are so good at making us stronger. Today's little isometric, we're gonna have the knees hovering off the ground. So pressing down through the hands, lifting the belly into the low back. And we're looking for neutral spine here, yeah? So be careful we're not arching or over curling. Tuck the toes, keeping the knees parallel. T-zone tight, we inhale, and we hover the knees just off the floor as we exhale. Good, lift the T-zone even more as you breathe in. Extend the right leg straight back as you breathe out. Nothing else moves. Bring it back, inhale. Stretch the left leg back as you exhale. Bring it back on the inhale. Keep those knees just off the floor. Right leg back, exhale. Bring it in, get those knees lower, Miss Rachel. Left leg back on the exhale. Bring it back on the inhale. Right leg back, exhale. Right leg in, inhale. Last one on the left. And you get five seconds rest. Circle your wrist twice in one direction. Circle your wrist twice in the other direction. Tucking that, the toes under, T-zone tight, we inhale, hover the knees, exhale. Long spine breath in. This time, take the right leg to the side as you breathe out. Bring it back as you inhale, left leg to the side, exhale. Keep the knees low, keep the spine straight. Right leg on the exhale, back on the inhale. Left leg on the exhale, Back on the inhale, right leg on the exhale, back on the inhale, left leg on the in, exhale, back. Now we hold here for 20 seconds, just hovering those knees millimeters from the floor. Really lift the heart between the shoulders, spread the shoulder blades broad, wrap the upper arms towards the ribs. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the knees. Walk the hands back, press the heels towards the floor, drop the chin towards the chest. I'm going to roll up super slow, stacking one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to angle my camera up. We're doing standing stretching today. We're going to use the wall if you have one nearby. And I will go to our stretch song. It's 
spine. Holding onto the wall with one hand, tailbone tucked, neutral pelvis, keeping the hips the same distance as we lift one heel to the bottom. Take your hand back. Good. Take your hand back, find your ankle, roll the shoulder back, pull the ribs in. So step one, ribs in. Step two, tailbone tucking. Step three, drive the knee back a little further. Now we're going to push the foot into the hand, firm. Three, two, one. Keep tucking the tailbone, keep the hips long as you take the leg back a little bit more. Holding here for three, two, one. As you release the foot, step it back onto the big toe. You're really conscious that the legs are parallel. Back leg is going to be straight, heel dropping down. Front knee is going to come forward. Now we need to close the back hip and sweep the belly in as we stretch the calf muscle of the back leg. Holding this for five, four, three, two, one. Now without extending this front knee fully, lift the toes towards your nose, lift the thigh into the hip. We're going to bring our outside arm up by our ear, take an inhale and slowly tip forward. We can slide the hand along the wall as we exhale. Get long from tailbone to fingertip, take a breath in, see if the chest can come down deeper as we breathe out. Lengthen on the inhale, bring the hand to the ground if you can, maybe you can just rest it on your chin as you exhale. We're going to lift the back heel as we breathe in, turn the heel in, press it down so the knee is turning out to the side as we breathe out. Lift the toes, arch the back, inhale, sink the bottom back, exhale, hold for five, four, three, Two, one, bring your weight forward into the front foot, bring your hand to your hip, lift the chest, coming to stand up. Turn both feet towards the centre, keeping both hands on the hips now, chest open, inhale, folding on the exhale. And just take hold of your opposite elbows and swing from side to side. Breathe into it. It's not a big movement. 
Inhale it up. Exhale the left hand down onto the thigh. Inhale the right arm up by your ear. Exhale, turn to the side. Take a breath in and exhale, start to slide that left hand down. And it should feel this right around the top of the right hip. Rotate your chest back a little if you don't. Inhale up to the top. Exhale the right hand down. Roll the shoulders. You are all done.